Hi guys, Alex Pushkar here again with another episode of Siren U. In this episode, we'll be showing you how to connect your high water switch or high water alarm to our MTC device. This is separate from our last video that showed bilge pump activity and the hardwired connections needed to hardwire your bilge pump. Now when installing your high water alarm, we're usually tying into an existing high water alarm on the boat or a designated float switch that's only set aside for our Siren Marine unit. Here we'll be doing just that. We have our Siren Marine MTC here already put to power. We have a standalone Rulematic float switch. We have our wire strippers and our flathead screwdriver. Something to consider when mounting this float switch is location. Uh, we want to make sure this is higher than your average build level as this will be your high water alarm. Uh, so that's something to, to take into consideration. Um, also, this device doesn't see 12 volts. This opens and closes the negative current. When the device opens, it recognizes the negative uh, current as a high water alarm. Um, so right now we're going to go ahead and get right into this. We won't be using our buck connectors and an additional wire lead um, as we're just going to be connecting this sensor directly to the MTC. Now this, M this rule float switch, again there's no power here, so we're going to be connecting one side uh, to the high water input on the device uh, and the other just looping it into battery ground that the device is already connected to. So I've already gone ahead and stripped this wire down and back. So what I'm doing now is just twisting this small enough to get into the wiring inputs. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the high water. Cinch that down. And I'm also going to take the second lead and tie it into our ground that's already connected to our power cable here, our black wire. The MTC high water input is just closing to zero volts, um, so we want to make sure that when the Rulematic float switch is in the up position, uh, the negative current closes the MTC switch, the MTC input, and then comes back down to let you know the alert is okay. Thanks for watching another episode of Siren U. Be sure to check out our other videos on how to unlock the full power of your MTC device.